greeting and thank you for joining us to learn about our project management plan for undergraduate chemistry course under flip model the project management plan has been provided for you by the project team of three intelligent folks myself abdullah kang and zinar our team uses a five phases approach for building a project management plan approach divides the project into the phases of define plan organize control and close this approach support will plan and execute the project from start through completion let's begin by defining the problem that face the this project management team undergraduate student at chemistry department of large <coughs> university complain that their lecture session are straight from the text therefore they don't attend the lecture session and are unable to learn chemistry concepts perfectly student for the complain that they need more time on the <coughs> hands on labs um, our project present the solution to this problem as per the statement of uh, stakeholders uh, the, the theory courses are uh, compared to <coughs> online which will allow students to spend more time in the lab and playing the concepts uh, in the period of almost three months three chemistry classes will be converted to online uh, format and will be launched by the beginning of uh, the fall semester. The goal is broken down into three objectives. Uh, profit learning training for faculty and students, support faculty and create resources for online le learning, evaluate the effectiveness of a project uh, formatively and supportively. We received two different requests from client and incorporated into our plan. First, including a Leo e-learning tool. The inclusion of this tool in the plan changed the plan sli slightly and minor changes are reflected in the project and timeline. Second, squeeze the timeline by 20%. So by doing that, initial dates which were from May 1st to August 30th were changed to May 1st to August 11th. In plan phase, the most important parts are work breakdown structure, activity estimate time, and the critical parts. Our team use work breakdown structure to break each learning objective into small manageable tasks. For example, we break activity one into four steps. For instance, draft a project timeline, set up a meeting with department chair, and develop a training session plan and implement the training. We use the critical paths to identify the sequence of activities through the network. For example, 1.1 happens before 1.2. 1.3 to 3.4 means those four activities are implemented in the same time. While organizing the project, we have developed and employed a recruitment criteria, team organization structure, and from that we have developed a work package and assigned the work in two packages to people. Work package descriptions break down the broader objective into sub-objective. Detailing these sub-objectives or tasks help our team to assign the work based on people's expertise and keep track of who is responsible for doing what and by when. Team organization structure details the reporting structure. Project manager is the lead of the project. He reports directly to the chair of the chemistry department. All the teams, including instructional design team, specialist team, as well as faculty members, will be reporting their progress directly to the project manager. In the recruitment criteria, we have specified the jobs for all personnel involved in the project. For example, videographer, graphic artist, LMS expert, content expert, etc. Note, 
that we have not recruited any labor from outside the university, which implies that all labor is the university staff or faculty. The project manager will utilize a field style to manage the team. Because the team consists of employees that are highly skilled and educated faculty, this style will help the team to build trust among each team member, also providing them autonomy to perform the best of their skills and knowledge. In order to overcome the limitations of the management style, the project manager will organize monthly team meetings to enhance communication and provide feedback. In order to track the progress of the project, detect variance from the plan, and take corrective actions, we use variance report as a management tool. The vertical line explains the status of the work as of July 19th. For example, LM expert is falling behind of the time. However, the graphic designer has completed his work before the schedule. To foster the communication among each team member, we will use a two-hour-long orientation meeting in the first month to build the trust among the staff, develop clarity around the goals of the project. Also, there will be two-hour-long monthly team meeting where each team member will share their updates on their tasks and receive feedback from each other in the project. For unexpected conflicts, the project manager will use collaborative approaches. For closing the project, we will prepare termination logistics. First, we will conduct a team meeting to discuss clients' feedback, identify required modification and assign the work to the relevant staff. Once finalized, we will submit the courses to the department chair. We will close the project office of space and financial statements and will terminate the team and their contracts. Then we will prepare a document file of all products and people terminated from the project. Since people are university staff, they will continue to report to their managers or deans. We will also conduct a post-implementation audit of the project, share the project and audit report with the client, and obtain approval. Finally, we will close the project. Finally, we will share the following with the faculty and the dean in the faculty meeting. Three newly designed courses, project presentation, project report, audit report, and sign off closing pages. Thank, Thank you for, for listening, listening to, to our, our presentation. presentation.